Tori. Hey, Tori Wilson. Hey there, baby girl. Have you got a couple of minutes for your general manager? There's an urgent matter I need to speak to you about. Actually, Teddy, I'm supposed to catch a flight and I'm already running late. I'd love to stay and talk, but... That's okay. Don't worry about it, Tori. I don't want to be responsible for my number one diva missing her flight. You feel me? I'll catch up with you next week. Thanks, Teddy. I'll see you Thursday. Damn! I hate to see that girl go, but I love watching her leave. Holla! Teddy, it's going to be okay. Help! Somebody please help! I just can't believe that someone could do that to poor Theodore Long. Yo, don't worry about that, Tori. He'll be all right, and they'll catch whoever did it. Hey, Tori. Cena. Excuse me, Tori. I heard that you were the last person to see Teddy Long before his accident. Do you mind if I ask you about it? Hey, Columbo, take it somewhere else, okay? Can't you see the lady's upset? She doesn't need you accusing her of something she had nothing to do with. No one's accusing anyone of anything, Cena. But as long as you're here, where were you when Theodore Long was taken out? Excuse me? I must have missed the part where you explained to me why I had to answer to you. Who the hell you think you are to come up here and get all up in my grill? Oh, you tell him, Cena. Fight the power. Don't take any guff from the man. I mean, dude, it's not like there's any way that an angry thug who walks around with brass knuckles and a steel chain around his neck could ever take anyone out, right? Yo, look who it is, Mr. Pay-Per-View. You know, for a guy who calls himself the whole damn show, you sure ain't had much in the way of title shots lately, have you, Chief? Sounds like a pretty good motive for punking out our GM, don't it? So where were you when T-Lo got aced? Well, let's see. I think I was probably chilling out in the back. Stretching out, you know, throwing some kicks and reading some comics. You think you were? Can anybody vouch for you? That's my downtime. Just me. R.V.D. You know, earlier tonight, we witnessed a classic bout for the WWE title. So before we begin the Royal Rumble match, allow me to formally introduce you to your new WWE Champion. And I have even better news for SmackDown. Your fine general manager, Theodore Long, is nearly fully recuperated from his heinous assault earlier this year. And being the consummate professional that he is, he insists on resuming his duties on SmackDown as soon as this week. Did you hear that, Taz? Theodore Long is back. It's about time, Cole. SmackDown's been without a general manager for way too long. Now remember the man who wins tonight's Royal Rumble will earn a title opportunity at the greatest sports entertainment spectacle of all time, WrestleMania 22. Yes, the road to WrestleMania begins right here, right now, in this very ring. No chance of that much Welcome back, Theodore Long. It's been a long time since we've seen him, but our popular general manager has finally returned to SmackDown. I'll tell you, it's good to have Teddy Long back, but we still don't have any idea who was driving that car that ran him down in the first place. Let me holler at you, players. Being in this ring in front of all of you SmackDown fans is doing more good than all the doctors in the world. Theater alone is back in the house. And this time, I'm here to stay. And now that I'm back, the first order of business is to find out who ran me down in that parking garage. 
whoever it is, ain't gonna get away with it. Believe that. But I don't want to dwell on the negatives. There's plenty to celebrate here on SmackDown. And speaking of that, it's time to call the winner of this year's Royal Rumble down to the ring and congratulate him on a job well done. Here comes the winner of the Royal Rumble. Word has it, Taz, that he's already decided to go after SmackDown's own WWE title at WrestleMania. What the heck? That's WWE Champion Rob Van Dam. Oh, my God. The WWE Champion has just taken out the number one contender. That's not like RVD at all. And what's that written on the WWE title? Teddy, dude, welcome back, man. Too bad it took you so long, though. Yeah, there's been a few changes around here. It's time to let you and all these fans know that as of now, ECW is back, and we're taking over SmackDown. ECW? ECW? The ECW organization went under years ago, after so many of its top superstars left for WCW and the WWE. And now you're saying ECW is back? You're pulling my leg, player. Come on, Teddy. Look at me. Take a look at this title. Does it look like I'm pulling your leg? With you gone, I was finally able to get the kinds of opportunities that you always kept for me. Like a WWE title match at the Royal Rumble, which I won, of course. So now that I've gotten what's been coming to me, I have some old friends around who want to join the party. Old ECW friends. Now listen here, Rob. I've never had anything but respect for you. You feel me? I was glad to hear you were the new WWE Champion. But I'm sorry you felt that you had to go that far to do it. <laughs> I guess you're gonna tell me that you were the one who ran me down all those months ago. Me? No way, dude. Mr. Thursday Night doesn't like to get his hands dirty. Know what I mean? But I know who did. Well, lay it on me, dog. Yeah? I don't think so. RVD, if you don't give me a name, you're going to defend that WWE title tonight instead of at WrestleMania. You dig? Dig this, Teddy. I'll defend this ECW title anytime, anywhere, but only against a truly extreme opponent. And since my so-called number one contender is knocked out on the entrance ramp right now, he's not it. If he wants this title, he's gonna have to go to the extreme first and prove that he deserves a shot at me. R.V.D. I can't believe what I'm hearing. RVD says that ECW is back, and they're taking over SmackDown. Well, if that's true, things are gonna change around here, Cole. ECW is a force to be reckoned with, no doubt about that.